What's up, my loves and fellow creatives? We are getting back into class. Class is in session. As a matter of fact, uh, we are having class tonight. I have a special, special instructor that many of you know, and she has been um, requested on multiple occasions. So finally, Coach Chrissy, none other than Coach Chrissy, is going to be teaching class tonight. So um, Coach Chrissy is, in addition to actually teaching the class for tonight, which is of course the, the Photoshop part of the assignment, she is going to also be showing you how simple, how truly simple it is to make these buttons and she will give you a list of all the things that you will need in order to do this. And I think she has some, uh, some pretty cool announcements that she's going to be doing some weekend classes, some hands-on weekend classes coming up with the Automizer and with the paper crafting. So let me tell you, Coach Chrissy is about to be giving y'all what you want. <laughs> Let's see, we have here Miss Sexy and Miss. What's up, love? Let's see, Miss Hart, all about beauty. Hey, Miss Shanta, what's good? Naomi. Oh, Academy of Sublimation Blanks, hosted by CSU. What's good, love? Barbara. Tania, hey. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this because um, I'm actually doing a... Um, a really cool thing right now, the vending spot um, in Miami for entrepreneurship convention. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of, about um, some of this stuff later. I'll be checking in. Hopefully I will get an opportunity to go live out there and show y'all our um, on-demand setup, some cool stuff. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into how this class is gonna go. Really, really simple. But what we're going to be doing today, um, this is a template that's just for a button, right? And of course, you'll probably notice that it has foreground, background, and some text on here, right? So we have that, and then what you all will be doing is editing that, but you will also have these styles, okay? So let me show you how we're gonna install these styles. You will not need to install them prior to class because we're gonna install them in class just to make sure that everybody has them and understands that this is a big deal. Um, when you start getting into advanced uh, Photoshop, styles are going to really change the look. So usually I have my styles already applied for you. So what we're learning today, in addition to designing a button, we're also gonna apply some styles, okay? So these are three styles that I'm giving you right now. You can right click and we're gonna go to open with, and you could choose to open it with Photoshop. That's training your computer to open these type of files with Photoshop. And the way that I know that it's there is I can click on the effects. I'll just go to blending options so that I can go all the way up here to styles and see that glitter style, that folder just popped up. So now that glitter style is in there. Now I'm gonna show you what the, what the styles do once we get into the design portion of the lesson today. So that was a glitter style. We'll come back here. We could do the same thing, but I'm also going to show you how you can install these from within the program. If you have a problem doing right click open with Photoshop, then what you can do is inside of the layer style menu, which how we get to it again, go to FX, go to blending options, and then you can come up here to styles. And here we can go to this little gear and go to import styles. And you'll go to your 178 folder and let's go ahead and import the metallic style perfect there it is now the final method let's see there's one more way i wanted to show you just in case let's see we did that we loaded it we imported it and i think there's one other way you can do it i just did it a moment ago but you know what? I think it was actually harder because it didn't show up and I had to close out and open it back up again to see it. So let's just stick with those two methods. This is gonna be the easiest. So let's go back to the first method, which is just a right click. So I'm gonna give you a stroke shadow, right click, not open, but open with. 
Um, now, when you go to choose another app, let's say default is not opening it up in Photoshop. If you go to choose another app and then don't choose Photoshop right away, well, if you see it, you can choose it, but make sure that you check this mark off. That way, anytime it sees a Photoshop effect style, it will automatically use Photoshop to open that type of ASL file. Okay, so let's go to OK. And see how it's not showing here just yet? So I have to go to Cancel, go back to my effects, and it should show up. There it is. All right, so now let's get into class for today. Very, very simple. Of course, you're going to go through the motions and change out the photo and change out the text here. And you know what? Let me see if I have a photo to change out. If not, y'all know I'll make it do what it do. Oh, I'll just go ahead and use one of the photos that are here. So what you'll be doing is you go file, place embedded, and you place your an image in there. So make sure that your photo is, uh, and you're only going to need one photo, so make sure that photo is, uh, and you might want to have a logo. You don't have to have a logo, but if you have a photo and a logo, then you can have those prepared and ready in your 178 folder. We don't want to spend up class time looking for it, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go with this image here. We'll close out. Our handsome young model should reappear now as the main image here. And then we can change out the text. So let's say instead of first name, what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the T and type your name. All right, now it looks as if the smart color is not completely covering this. So I'm going to take my shift key, grab all of the smart color, and I'm going to bring it down all together. I thought I was going to have to resize it. If I did shift, I could resize it here and stretch that color out. But really all I had to do was move it down. And anytime we have a text that's really tall or, or just hangs below the normal line there, we want to make sure that we color it cover that up with color. Now the whole point of us doing the effect is about to take effect. So some of you have been asking questions, especially asking Coach Chrissy, um, how do I change it to glitter or metallic finish? So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to click on the layer here. Now you'll see there's an FX right here that you can double click on or you can come to the FX down here at the bottom. So I'm going to double click on the FX on the layer. That's the easiest thing for me to remember. And then I'm going to go back up to my styles. And because I have the layer selected with the text, if I choose the glitter style, look at that, changes the glitter. If I choose the metallic style, it changes to metallic. And if I choose the stroke style, it changes to a flat color with just a little bit of a stroke and a drop shadow. Sometimes we don't want all the flashiness, which is not very often for me. You know I'm extra. But let's say we're going to go with the glitter. We could still use our smart colors here to recolor that glitter. And this one's on normal, so that's why it's doing a flat recolor. This one's on normal as well, but if we change the blend mode to multiply... Now this one, because it's black, multiply is probably not going to do the justice. We would need to choose something like overlay kind of does it a little bit. We even get the little holographic color in there for overlay for black. And let's see what happens when we do overlay for the yellow. Right now it is on multiply. And it doesn't quite give me the deep gold color. So I like multiply for anything that is lighter, probably, you know, maybe like your mid colors to darker color or to lighter colors, your darker colors, like a navy blue, a hunter green, that sort of thing. You're probably going to need to do a little something different with your blend mode in order to really see the glitter pop, right? <clears throat> and then white, you won't need to use it all because if you want silver glitter, it's silver. If you want white, and you want it to appear like a white glitter, then you will have to change the style from normal to, I think overlay works there too. It's just a little harsh. Ooh, I like soft light there for the white. Let's use soft light for the white, overlay for the black, 
and then we'll just choose uh, multiply for any other color. And of course, you'll be able to play with those blend modes. That's the whole point of effects. All right, so let's close out of this and say yes to save. And now we've changed the text there. We could do the same thing for the text here. I'm not gonna do it right now because this is just a demonstration for class. And actually, let me go ahead and revert that. So I'm gonna edit, oh, let's go to history and undo. That way when I go back to my first name, it should still say first name now. There we go. Perfect. And I'm gonna reduce the photo size just a little here. There we go, we're not wanting to cut off that handsome face at all. Perfect. Oh, you know, I forgot to do a sound check. Can you all hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. I'm just talking, normally I do a sound check. Oh, Tampa Barbecue Queens, I'm missing you too. We have such great things in store, y'all. Uh, I have been working like crazy. Like this is going to be my grind season. And I know grinding doesn't last always, but um, I know a couple of years ago was my grind season too. So now I'm working on a new crop and that crop is um, <laughs> it's going to, to really help us all in some tremendous ways. So um, with me working on that, I have been pulling a lot of overtime. I have been pushing and doing events again. And that's some of the stuff that I'm going to bring to the academy is how to do the, the brand on demand and pop-up shops and all of that good stuff. Okay, awesome. Y'all can hear me. Good deal. All right, so let's go ahead and change the color here. For the background. All right, and let's say we're gonna keep the gold, but let's say, oh no, we're gonna also change the logo here. Let's change the logo, we'll turn it to the light blue, and then that way we will change our image to like the light blue and the gray. And this actually recolors everything quite nicely, but we're just gonna change the overall colors here. So we'll go with the light blue. And normally I would pick these colors from the logo. So we would go to the logo. And that's what Coach Chrissy is gonna do with you. If you have a logo, you can go to your logo. You take your color picker tool and pick that blue that you want. Double click on the, the uh, foreground swatch here. Go to add to swatches. Take off, add to my current library, and let's just name that one. Let's hit that OK. And then now let's grab maybe the silver color. And let's add that to swatches. Call that two. Take off, add to my current library. Hit OK. And if you notice, they added those colors up here to the top. And sometimes if you don't have this area down here full, it will also add those down here. Now we can hit cancel. And I'm going to change that blue to this one we just select this a little bit different. And then let's change the yellow to the gray. All right, so now we have our colors there. Everything looks great. I'll close out of this, hit yes to save. All right, and then we'll just go in to the first name and change these smart colors as well. So for the top one, I'm gonna change it to go with the gray. Or you know what, so color one, I'm gonna make the blue. Because I wanna be consistent with my main color. I want to always be my color one. And then for second one, 
top of the query. Now this time I'm going to try the metallic look instead of the glitter. So let's try it out. So we can double click on the effects. Go to the styles up here. Metallic is already installed. Boom. Ooh, that looks good. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Close out of this and save. So what I'm going to do for this file, I'm going to put the metallic and the glitter. So maybe let's do the 2022 and the glitter. Let's double click. We'll change out our smart color. We're only going to change color number one and two of this. So color number one will be our blue. Color number two will be our gray. And then of course, for, let's leave class of, how about this? Let's do class of, and you might not be doing the class of, I think I also have the word graduate in here, right? So let's say you don't want to do class of, maybe you want to do 2022 graduate, or you could put anything that you want here. It doesn't have to be a graduation pin. It could be uh, for remembrance. It could be for a birthday. Um, it could be for like someone's election year. That would be phenomenal for you to uh, be able to get that type of a contract because that's going to be repeat work. Um, especially if you're doing buttons, you can, you can get out there and, and really have a great, um, a great markup here. All right, so let's do. So for the class of, I think I'm going to stick with the flat one. So I'll show you the difference. So we go to the style here, the one that says stroke, stroke shadow style. See, that one's a little simpler, flat color. It doesn't have all the gradients and bevel and all that to it. That's cool. Sometimes you want that. Um, and it is a little more legible. Like, I know I like the extra stuff, but sometimes if you want to be very legible, then you just do the flat colors, a little stroke, drop shadow or a glow to it, makes it pop off of the background, and you can keep it simple. All right, so let's double click on the FX here for 2022. Go up to styles, and let's try that glitter out. Oh, that looks good. All right, and then I'm going to turn off the word graduate because we do not need it, but it's just another text that's there for you. All right, so when I close this out, I'm going to say yes to save. And now we have all three styles in this template. It looks so good. And uh, Coach Chrissy is after class is even going to be able to show you how to actually print this out, cut it, and craft it. Okay, so that's going to be fun. You'll get to see the, uh, if you've never seen the button making machine or if you've been curious about it and you didn't know what to purchase or what type of paper, all of that good stuff, Coach Chrissy is going to put you on. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to save this for you all because I'm going to save all these lovely changes that we made. And then I'm going to show you, um, now this is the Automizer. So this is one of the products and the mock-ups that are going to be up, uploaded to the Automizer this week. We have uh, the name tag, we have a 